Hello and welcome to the show. I am back on Forza Horizon 4, building a, another hill climb vehicle to take on the Needle Pass. Our car of choice today, as voted by you guys, is the great Swedish battle tank. The Volvo 850R is going to be taking on the climb. I, I love the 850R. I, I think it's impossible not to love the 850R. I'm hoping it's going to be good. I'm hoping it's going to be a good vehicle for taking on the mountain. We start off at a mid C class. Uh, we are. It's quite a powerful vehicle, of course, to begin with. Um, it is a little bit, of course, larger. Quite, quite, quite a long wheelbase. Quite a lot longer wheelbase than we got from the Lancia Stratos, and is a bit heavier than some of the other cars. Hopefully, made up for by the power. We will, of course. Stick it on the race tyres. We want as much grip as possible for getting up the hill. Uh, two four fives at the front aren't the biggest tyres, and I'm going to yeah, they're going to be two four fives all around. It's not great. It's not great. We get a, I say we get away. We always want as bigger tyres as possible in, in A class. The speeds are a little bit lower, so we might get away a little bit with uh, there's just a crash behind me. A kitten fell off a window sill. Well done, Heave. You rolled over. <laughs> <laughs> off the windowsill, you muppet. Um, yeah, we're going to want, of course, full force aero. We want anything that gives us grip, pretty much. Anything that gives us grip on the way up the mountain is the way to go. Does any of these gearboxes reduce our PI? No, they do not. Okay. Uh, we are also, of course, we're going to be wanting the full race brakes. We are going to be wanting some race suspension. God, I remember the days when you could literally just go to the end and that was a race suspension. And now we're going to fight. It's, it's yeah... <laughs> Man, I, I wonder how many people have accidentally put drift suspension on their cars just from automatic of Forza's of old scrolling to the end of the list of suspension. I imagine a lot. I've done it many a time. Uh, right, weight reduction. What are we going to get the Volvo down to? £2,790. That's not, it's not too bad. It is, it's always going to be a little bit heavier car. Let's face it, that's just a fact. Um, but it isn't as bad as I thought it might end up being. We course find other ways of maybe trimming a little bit more weight out of the car. Exhaust system is always a go-to one for me. Air filter will get it a little bit lighter. We're only talking a few pounds here. I'm not allowed to change the wheels in this series. Every vehicle is being run with their standard standard wheels. Um, Power-wise, I mean, we are going to have a pretty decent chunk of power in this car, which I like. In fact, we are now down to just under £2,700. It will probably be one of the more powerful, outside of the Iron Knight. I don't really count the Iron Knight amongst the powerful vehicles that have run here, because, yes, it had a lot of power, but it's a truck. So, <laughs> there we go. 371 horsepower is not to be sniffed at here. 371 horsepower is not to be sniffed at at all. Now, we could... I don't know whether that's worth it at all. So we could go for... Uh, Turbo's going to jump us up over. We might have to try and balance out some upgrades elsewhere. Uh, that gets us to 391. I mean, that kind of works. 391 horsepower is good. You know, that is some good power going on in this. Now, we will try and maybe sneak in things like flywheel. Nope. <laughs> Whether try, not quite. Uh, drive line? Hey, we can sneak in one drive line at least. Okay, we'll stick around the 2,700 pound mark. So, we've got decent power in this. It is front-wheel drive, which means off the line we are going to potentially struggle a teensy tiny bit. Uh, we certainly shouldn't have the oversteer issues we saw from the Lancia with this. Although, front-wheel drive cars still can, I would be surprised if this did. Um, let's just have a check. In case a gearbox magically lowers PI when you've upgraded other bits, it doesn't. There we go. The Volvo is ready. I'm sure many of you will be cheering this car on, wanting it to go fastest. It'll be interesting to see how the front-wheel drive estate fares, certainly against the likes of the Scirocco. So, we are on the start line with our Volvo 850R. I'm going to have three attempts to get up the needle pass as quickly as possible. The target, well, the target for the Volvo is to beat the Scirocco, our only other, well, I say our sensible front-wheel drive car that has gone up a 128.2. The fastest ever time, a 127.4. I think that's going to be asking quite a lot of the 850R. It doesn't have giant tyres all round. We're always going to struggle a little bit off the line. That's just a thing that's going to happen in the front-wheel drive car. It is, so far, pretty damn nice. I will give it that through these corners. Uh, so that, that is good news. That is good news for the Volvo. Now, of course, it does have a good amount of power. 
which, while this is a primarily handling-based area, power is going to help it with, well, simply climbing. We haven't got too much manic front-wheel drive wheel spin either, which is nice. I'm not flat through here. We're kind of just modulating the throttle a little bit. Still pretty fast, though. Okay, I'm liking the Volvo. I, I mean, I always do like the Volvo, but uh, <laughs> I'm liking it for this hill climb. For this hill climb, it seems to be going pretty well. I will say I noticed or I realised uh, when driving to the grid, or driving to the start line, if you like, uh, this from stand only has four gears. Uh, I didn't know, I, I just assumed it was a five-speed. I'm fairly sure the 850R was, but in Forza with a stock gearbox, it is apparently a four-speed. Uh, I, I could be wrong about my Volvos. However, yeah, that's uh, a little bit unfortunate, shall we say. A little bit, un I say a little bit unfortunate. Second gear is actually working very well up this course for most of it. A little bit understeer wide on the exit there. Ooh, it's a good first run. That's a good... A good first run. We are down to a 128.6 already. So <laughs> we are within we are within half a second of the Scirocco. Yeah, that's a solid first run. Middly, no mistakes, no massive mistakes to improve upon. But we might just stand a chance of beating the Volkswagen. Right, we are on to our second attempt with the Volvo. It isn't, yeah, too much time that we are looking for, certainly, to be competitive. Uh, but likewise, it was a fairly good first run. I'm not sure where I'm going to be finding the time around this course, but I'm going to give it a, uh, a damn good try with the car. It's a smoky start off the line, of course it is, with the, <laughs> the 850R. It does, it handles, it handles well. It handles well, I gotta say, for uh, for a big boat up here. I know how good the Scirocco is. I know how good of a car that is on Forza games. So for this to be as close on the first run, and in many ways this actually being, I think, a little easier to drive in some ways up this course than the Scirocco. I was a little wide there. I might have pushed it a little too hard. Just trying to find places I can uh, can carry speed, make up some time. Again, we are well. I'm, I'm certainly pushing the Volvo. Around here, if I go too, if I go too Larry on the throttle, we get a boat full of understeer off towards the wall. So you got to be, uh, you got to be very careful with the car. Let's be neat and tidy through that section. We are actually <laughs> that was basically spot on for the 850. I'm pleased with that one. Uh, up through, uh, up th I say up through the gears. It's just one gear. We have to change gear about twice on this run. Everything else is just done in second. Might turn in a smidge too soon. We'll get away with it. I mean, we still get good drive. There's plenty of power, plenty of torque from the engine to get us up this uh, up this mountain. Uh, final couple of hairpins to go. It feels like a good run, this. It does feel like a good run. Um, not too much. A couple of corners. That's a little wide. Got to be patient. Don't waste your time spinning the front wheels as we go to accelerate away. It wasn't a better run. That surprises me. That felt fast. It wasn't, though. That's a bit of a disappointment. 120 is still not a bad run, very similar times. And we have seen this, some consistency, quite a lot of consistency, in fact, from the cars. But it's another that 128.7, tenth of a second slower. Go in the wrong direction, damn it. Well, this is it. The last chance for the great... Uh, well, this is it. The last chance for the great Swedish battle barge. I, I'm not sure where I'm going to find time. I'd love to get the 850R up here quicker. I really would. I'm not sure. We need about four tenths. It isn't all that much. It might be doable, but we need to find it somewhere around this course. And I am, yeah, not quite sure where I'm going to be finding it. I shall do my best, though, on this final run to get that little bit quicker. I think there are a couple of places where this might lose out a little bit to some of the other cars. That have certainly some of the other cars that have gone very quickly up here. First of all, is the waiting to get on the power, and that's always going to be an issue with a front-wheel drive car, I think. But in this, it is well more than we had to do with the Scirocco. You really do have to wait around a little bit. It's you know not massive. We're not talking seconds difference here, but it is enough. It is enough having to wait to get on the power that uh, it might just cost us that little bit of time. Sure, the power is great for getting up the hills very quickly in, or for getting you know, up the steep parts. However, the corners are in some ways, and this series has shown so far, corners are more important. Corners are <laughs> more important. You need to be able to carry that corner speed 
and the Volvo is uh, struggling with it's, it's only a smidge we're talking here we're a little we're, I say we're a little wide we just about brushed a wheel across the across the gravel we'll get away with that that won't cost us greatly chuck it into the hairpin uh, for well the penultimate time there is one more hairpin to go with the Volvo how much speed can I get through here come on big old tank run to the finish line it is going to go oh he's going to go very close it was a faster run that time Oh, we set an identical time. <laughs> it's only taken us nine... Well, this is the tenth vehicle. To set an identical time. The fastest front-wheel drive vehicle will be both the Volvo and the Scirocco. <laughs> it was a better run. That was a better run. It felt, it felt like a very good run, that one. Um, we got a couple of corners. We carried a lot of speed through them which was nice got the braking sorted and so on i mean hell to set an identical time up the hill climb in a big volvo estate car a you know decent age volvo estate car as well up against a modern very good handling scirocco that is you know some impressive stuff i think for the 850r it will go into a joint fifth place. It actually beats the Lancia Stratos from last time out. It beats the Mini, the M4, the Iron Knight. As I said, ties with the Scirocco. We are only talking, we're talking less than a tenth of a second down on the RX-8, the Monte Carlo. This series is incredibly close in terms of time. I mean, cars are getting time in different ways. This Volvo isn't as good through the corners, but I do think it is probably going to be faster on the acceleration zones. It's simply got the power. It has simply got the power to, to get up the mountain roads, up the steep parts, very quickly indeed. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, an impressive showing. An impressive showing from the big Volvo. That, though, is going to be it for this video. If you have vehicles, if you have requests for cars you would like to see run in this series, please do leave them in the comments below, the most liked comment, provided the vehicle can fit within A class and provided I either have it, can get it, slash can afford it, uh, that will be run next time out. It's, as I said, proved to be an incredibly close, incredibly close series, so who knows what we might see run quickly or slowly next time out. That, though, will be it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, a goodbye.